Hi, I'm Dana Sadiza. I'm Eli Zavala. And for our class, we're doing accessibility for, uh, for handicapped uh, individuals on campus, whether it's wheelchair, um, crutches, just uh, access to restrooms, buildings, facilities. And uh, well, this is what we have found in our small little project. Okay, so throughout today, like throughout the past couple of weeks, we've been going around campus exploring like some of the buildings and we found that some buildings don't have as much um, accessibility to wheelchair or students in general if they want to be going through stairs and some hallways are pretty narrow and some buildings. We conducted a survey and we asked students at UTRGV how they felt about this problem and if they had noticed certain problems um, with the campus and we got some responses such as there are some buildings that I can't access fully because of the construction so I have to take the longer route. With construction going on there is like a lot of pathways that are limited to students and we also got somebody that's bound to wheelchair are able to get to class but they have to go way out of their way to get to class whereas we only have to cross a yard or take a small little pathway with stairs. That's a lot. We do have a lot of stairs and a lot of shortcuts, but most of them are wheelchair free. So that's one pretty big problem. And there was also a problem with parking. One that there isn't much parking, which I think everybody is aware of. And another that it could be a little more hard for maybe a person in crutches to travel from where they might be parking pretty far away to the nearest accessible door that doesn't require a lot of stairs. Hey, uh, this is a project that Janice and I are doing. Yeah. And we've noticed uh, handicap access is somewhat limited in some areas around this, uh, uh, around the campus. Yeah. Um, would UTRGV Media be interested in perhaps doing a story on that? Yeah, of course. I mean, uh, I think this, uh, back at our radio, the main focus is students. So we always want to have that story that UTRGV just can feel, you know, connected to. And I, I know a lot of people have handicap uh, issues that they need to get to their, even a job though, or just a class. So sometimes it's hard. Uh, I remember one times one of uh, our Student uh, media member actually fell from the stairs. Uh, we're not gonna say who, but because they were carrying the equipment. So I think it's always not because of handicap too. They can be for us that we carry all the time those huge, um, you know, equipment. So we always need that accessible. So definitely, it's a problem that uh, like our radio, QBQ TV, and the writer can be focusing a lot too. So we can have, tell the university what we need and have those uh, easy access for them. Well, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Hi, my name is Jan Vista Conava. I'm the station manager for Vaquero Radio. And remember, peace out. <laughs> Within the halls of this very same building, uh, we have found also, have you seen any stairs? No. I mean, not stairs, elevator. Okay, we have found that there's no elevator to gain access to the second floor. This is some uh, handicap accessible restrooms. Classrooms and a stairway for an exit. And the only elevator can be found Not in this building, but in the building outside, right next door to us, in an area that is not covered. So these steep stairs is the only access to get up here to the radio station and to the uh, TV meeting room, UTRG Media room that they have up here that is our presentation we hope you enjoyed it and uh, we hope it was informative uh, to you and if you would like to see some of these changes uh, go ahead and reach out to uh, guy which is the utrgv president and uh, go ahead reach out to him let him know thank you
Thank you.